When you're into filmmaking, video making, then chances are high that you're gonna do an interview. So in this video, I wanna talk about my favorite interview setup. Yes guys, new video, my name is Kevin van Dies. Welcome to the channel. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna talk about my uh, main setup for my interviews. So uh, when you're doing interviews, you gotta keep in mind that your setup needs to be yeah, mobile, yeah, compact, that's the most practical. Um, but also it has to be a setup that you can easily and fast set up, but also break down. And um, of course the light it delivers has to be soft. It has to be soft flattering light for your subject or your client. Oh, and of course safety. Safety comes first. So uh, when you're on set, it's nice to have like a safe, robust uh, setup that won't fall down on your client or the talent. So I like to start with a solid foundation and that's the C-stand. So I'm not using normal sand, now I'm using the C-stand and I know it's more chunky, it's uh, yeah, heavier than light, let's say a black uh, light stand, but it's safe. It's robust, it's safe, it's not gonna fall down on the subject uh, talent. So I like to have like a robust um, stand and also it, it's more versatile in use than you normally have with a uh, black uh, light stand. So that's the first one, and I'm pairing it with uh, my favorite light of all. And that's the Brasher 120 SL. 120 SL is a 120 watts uh, CUB uh, chip on board LED light. The nice thing about it is that it's a compact light with, uh, of course, the ability to use it with an, uh, a remote control, but it also has physical buttons on the light itself. And that's very important because you don't have like a separate uh, control box. No, it's on the light itself. So you have everything built in on this tiny light. And also very nice, you can use your V-mount batteries on this bad boy. So just click it in and you can like shoot uh, for hours. Uh, with this uh, female battery and still yeah still have a compact setup it's powerful and that's what i need because i want soft light that brings me to my diffuser what i'm using mostly is um, a parabolic uh, octobox or maybe parabolic softbox because they are really round the one i'm showing here using here is the uh, the 70 centimeters it's nice compact I also got a 90 and sometimes I also use it with a grid if it's needed yeah this this softbox is so great it's nice and round so it creates a natural catch light in the eye compared to let's say a square uh, reflection I don't like that so that's really nice but also it's easy to set up clickable like an umbrella so it's 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 easy to set up and break down um, and also very durable so they have it, guys my lighting setup of course lighting setup. I want to stick with only the light up setup because you also got the microphones you get the cameras uh, for interviews but for now only my lighting setup and what's also very uh, convenient to take with is the uh, like a reflector and uh, mostly I'm using the reflector for the black side to flag uh, the lighting uh, or sometimes even bounce lighting if it's necessary so uh, there you go that's the setup i'm using if you have any questions about my setup uh, about things i mentioned in this video or maybe something else your experience with your own setup do leave a comment and uh, guys as always see you next time